This last Sunday, we were thinking as a church about service, and we looked in the evening at John 13. That moment in John's Gospel where Jesus famously is at supper with his disciples, the Last Supper, and he gets up, gets on his knees, and washes their feet. Now, there are two surprises in that passage. The one, the most obvious one, I guess, is that here is the great Lord, the Lord of all, who takes on the posture of a servant and gets grubby washing the feet of his friends. But the second surprise comes in the exchange between Jesus and his friend Peter. Jesus says, you do not realize now what I'm doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. Jesus answered, unless I wash you, you have no part with me. So what do we learn from these verses? Well, number one, Peter, like all the rest of us, is a sinner and he's in need of forgiveness. He needs to be washed. But secondly, uh, Peter, like the rest of us, struggles to be helped. He needs to serve out of the overflow of God's love for him. And the same is true for us. Each one of us serves out of the overflow of God's love for us. And let me say thank you so much if you're serving. Thank you so much. If you were the person who cleaned this tea towel and ensures every week that we've got clean tea towels or whatever else you're doing in church life, thank you. And let me encourage you, if you have yet to serve or you're wondering whether you might change what you're doing in terms of service, there is a place for you. You're not just needed, you're intended to be part and to belong to part of this church in serving one another. And whichever is true for you, let me encourage each one of us to find in the Lord Jesus all the resources we need, all the supply of love that we need to enable us to serve in love to one another and to the world. Three notices as we close. Firstly, the prayer network. If you'd like to be praying for people in the church family, do sign up for the prayer ne network, link below, and then you'll be able to get information that will enable you to pray. The second thing to say is that Friday Rocks is on again this Friday, 6.30 to 7.30 for kids in years three to six. Do join us for that. Sign ups online. And thirdly to say that we meet as usual this Sunday uh, in person and also online. But as we're emerging from lockdown, we're thinking carefully about how we can keep up in terms of capacity in the building. So we found space for another 10 bubbles and we want to invite you to come and join us, perhaps if you haven't been before. And just to remind you that with the regulations as they've changed now, you can come in any group of up to six people or even of two households. So if you're usually coming alone, why not join up with someone else and come here as the two of you? However you do that, you'll need to get one person to sign up on behalf of the group and ensure that they leave their names on the sign up page as you do so. More instructions on that on our online sign up page. And if you have any other issues, don't hesitate to get in touch with the office. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>